In times of adversity, we must turn to God. And when we turn to God in times of adversity, we have instant help, instant strength, instant love in filling us. In 1 John 5, verse 4, it says, Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Now, the world is the outer conditions, the situations, maybe the uncomfortable situations that we may find ourselves in. But we have that power to overcome that because we are born of God, not just in the beginning on our birthday, but daily, because we start with God in the morning with prayer, we walk with God during the day, and because of this association in our remembrance, we are able to overcome anything in our world. Now I continue. It says, and this is the victory that has overcome the world. Then it identifies what this is. Two words are faith. All of us have times of adversity. On occasion, we must endure the disappointments and the tragedies that befall believers and non-believers alike. But the reassuring words of 1 John 5, 4 remind us that when we accept God's grace, we will be able to overcome the passing hardships of this world by relying on God's strength and God's love and God's promise of life ever getting better. When we call upon God in this heartfelt prayer, God will answer. And in God's wonderful way, better than we can even imagine, God will comfort us in our distress. And while we're working for God's plan to unfold and for God's healing touch to restore us, we can rest in the knowledge that our Creator can overcome any obstacle if we just have faith and hold on to God. And when we hold on to God, we realize even when we can't overcome something, God can. And we're holding on to that that can. So today, I ask you to take courage. When you take God at God's word and you trust God, you will find that your faith will overcome any adversity. And that is my prayer for you. Rick Warren has said, pain is the fuel of passion. It energizes us with an intensity to change that we normally don't possess. Well, today I pray that you have a passion to overcome your pain and that you realize in your adversity, whether it's in the past or the present, that you can overcome anything with the help of God.